We're a team. A miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose in an audiobook format. With artwork for the opening and thumbnail image by Yuki on Pixiv. You can find Yuki's Pixiv linked in the description box. Marinette Dupang Chang as Ladybug. Are you ready for this, my lady? Ladybug smiled and turned to her partner. Oh, please, Kitty. This guy's got nothing on an Akuma villain. Had you asked her what life would be like post Hawk Moth, Ladybug would have told you that she'd be studying hard, working a part time job, only wearing her mask for joy rides and nostalgia. But as it turns out, both she and her partner couldn't resist continuing to be heroes in a post hawk moth world. Thankfully, there were a lot of B rate villain wannabes filling Paris's streets. Are we using our powers or just getting a workout? First one to use their powers has to buy the other dinner. Deal. Cat rolled his shoulders, then looked at her to count them off. Go. She didn't need to count down when he could recognize the look in her eyes. The game was on. They caught the first one together with the strategic use of a metal garbage can and a sandwich, but split up thereafter. What did you get? Cat Noir walked up to her at the police station, his baton threaded behind his neck between his arms. Two felonies, a misdemeanor, and three petty offenses. You? Ladybug signed her usual piece of paperwork for the police department. Uh, Seven misdemeanors and a petty offense. And a trip to the water fountain. The water fountain? I thought a guy was attacking someone, but it turns out it was a boyfriend going through his girlfriend's purse and finding pepper spray. Then tested it out thinking it was a condiment. Oh, No. Was it rude to laugh? I have pictures. Was the fountain close by, at least? Would you believe me if I told you he ran straight to a decorative one? Like, toss a coin fountain? Yep. Oh, no. Had to wrestle him out of it. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Bugaboo, but there may be a pepper spray scandal tomorrow. What, because of the fountain? <laughs> because when I tried to get the spray away from him, I too got sprayed. She stared at him, noticing the pink in his cheeks. Cat? Ladybug cleared her throat, trying not to laugh. Cat, is there going to be footage of you and an innocent but snoopy man sticking your heads in a public decorative water fountain smeared across the internet tomorrow? Cat grinned, wiggling his eyebrows. Just another lovely Parisian night. Right. That's what we're known for, after all. The nightlife. Speaking of... Cat looked out the precinct windows, then back at her. Dinner? How many points did you get? Uh, seven and a half, but... I think the pepper spray should be three points for entertainment and the time taken. So we'd be tied? Ladybug did the math for their scoring system. Darn. Guess that means ice cream at Andre's. It's still a date, Cat shrugged. Besides, I wouldn't mind swinging by your place for your dad's day-old bread. Sometimes I think my parents like you better than they like me. And they know who I am under the mask. Cat shrugged, smiling. All's fair in love and found family, my lady. I'm not kissing you until you take a shower. 
I'm wearing magical spandex. I'm not... Uh, Jeremy? I believe in magic, Cat Noir, but I also believe in science. You need a bath. Cruel words from a cool girlfriend. The bar is on the floor, Cat Noir. The bar is on the floor. We're still a team, though. Only after you raise your hygienic standards, Ladybug said, grabbing the door for him. Come on. I bet you're going to tell me to brush my teeth, too. Um, duh? Of course! That's why you have a toothbrush in our place? I thought it was because your dad saw a Cat Noir brand toothbrush and decided it was a perfect decor. Don't forget he got me a ladybug one. I know. Cat grinned, showing a pair of teeth that looked like they'd never missed so much as a day without flossing. And he got Sabine a Viperian. It's weird to see my mom brushing her teeth with an homage to my ex attached. Cat stopped, turning to her. You dated Viperian? Use your brain, Adrian. Oh, right, Luca. He crossed his arms, and she knew he was a bit grumpy at the thought of it. How dare I have an ex? Whatever. Cat shrugged and kept walking. As long as you're never mine. Your girlfriend? No, my ex. She laughed, then went to kiss him, stopping herself when she remembered the water fountain. Bath. Now. Okay, okay. But only if you make me a box of Mac while I'm cleaning up. Deal. Think I should do two boxes? Is Tom awake at this time of night? My father rises with the smell of cheese. Well, you should make plaque. Someday. She couldn't wait to introduce him without a mask, but it still felt risky. Her parents knew her identity, her parents knew her identity, so she wasn't comfortable with them knowing if something were to happen. Someday. If he wakes up, he can meet Plague while I'm in the shower. There's an idea. One step at a time, Kitty. You know, we're a great team and all, Kat said trailing his baton against the side of a building as they walked by. But it is nice having competitions like these. I like taking down baddies with you, but I like feeling like a baddie when I win against you, Ladybug agreed. Are you sure you won't kiss me? Positive, cat. Not until you've washed, rinsed, and repeated at least three times. Hold my hand. No. I remember once a Disney couple didn't hold hands on a Hawaiian beach and the paparazzi smeared it saying they were close to breaking up by their body language. Cat, if you touch me, I'll break your hand. You're mean. I'm hygienic! Same thing. I worry for you sometimes. <laughs> Thanks. Part of the job description. As my girlfriend? Where is my partner? Yes. He laughed, and Ladybug hated that he was dirty. Go, she said, opening the back door for him to go upstairs. Marinette heard the shower click on, followed by Plague floating through the door to raid the cheese drawer. Of course, her thoughts discontinued when she heard her boyfriend scream in the shower. Cat! She pounded on the door, bracing herself for a body slam. It burns! The water? My face! Did you? Marinette realized what he meant. Cat, are you using hot water? It burns, Marinette! Did you seriously decide on a hot shower after getting pepper sprayed? I'm detransformed. I thought the suit would do the magic thing. I didn't miraculous ladybug today. The pepper is still in your pores. I got that now. Thank you. It was wrong to laugh. 
It was wrong to laugh. It was wrong to laugh. Marinette turned around, making eye contact with Tiki, then broke down in hysteria, clutching her stomach as she cackled. I can hear you, her boyfriend yelled. It's not like you've ever had a bad idea with good intentions. Hot water kills germs and all that. Do we season the mac with pepper? Tiki asked, grinning. You're mean, Marinette said, her voice hoarse as she tried to withhold giggles. Tiki, you're a team. Call it a bonding experience. You've been hanging out with Alia a little too often, I think. Her Kwame smirked and turned back to her post-transformation cookies, leaving Marinette to sigh as she listened to her boyfriend shower. This post hawk moth world was beautiful in ways younger her wouldn't have imagined. Yes, she studied hard and had a boyfriend that turned heads and made money off a monthly stipend from the mayor's anti-crime policies, but she spent so long associating her mask with stress, angst, and anger that she never realized what could come after it ended. She loved being Ladybug now. She loved being able to play with Cat Noir. She loved being able to date her partner. She loved being a part of their team, not the leader. In this post Hawkmoth world, Ladybug and Cat Noir were a team. Through and through. Thank you so much for listening. If you'd like more Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction, you can check out other videos on this channel. I'm Mira Rose. I wrote and narrated it. If you liked this video, give it a like if you like, and leave a comment to help support the YouTube algorithm. If you aren't sure what to comment, put post hawk moth world and i will catch you in the next one if you don't forget to subscribe bye <laughs>